We are live on Facebook for Sunday service. We are being moder moderated. Moderated. We just got yeah. a message to say we're being moderated, but that's fine, isn't it, Mum? Yeah. That is it fine. Is absolutely fine, yeah. So we've got Mum featuring today on Sunday service because Mum knows best, don't you, Mum? Well, I'd like to think so. I, I, I know best. you do. I don't think so. I know so. And people absolutely love it when you come on alive with me. Oh, thank so you. So I don't think we're going to get that many people watching because I've not been live for ages and Facebook are moder moderating yeah. me anyway. But here we are, we're live yeah. on Sunday service. Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be watching us from. Yeah, hello, everybody. Good morning, like I said, good afternoon, wherever you are from. Yeah. I hope you enjoy it. We've been sat here having a bit of a, um, a full time waiting to go live, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. I've been trying out all the um, Instagram filters on Mum, haven't we? Yeah. And one of the filters has a really nice pair of sunglasses. So if you go over to my Instagram, Antonella Uncensored, you'll see that Mum is uh, now trying to track down the sunglasses from one of the filters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> give this video a like, give me a love, give me that share. It is good to be back in the house. I'm still under slight restrictions with Facebook, so I'm going to behave myself, or am I? I'm not going to behave myself because of Facebook, but I will behave myself because of Mum. Yeah. Yes. What do you have to say, Mum? Is there anything you want to say before we start? I, just, say I just want to say hello, everyone. And uh, I hope you enjoy what we're gonna what we're going to do. And uh, I've missed you all, like she said, not been live for a while. No. So it's nice to be back. It is. And um, let's carry on with it. Maria Kissit has asked for a shout out. Hello, Maria. Hello. Hello. Okay, so what is Sunday service if you are a new time viewer? People write into the page, dear Auntie Nellis. Any advice I do give on today's show, or any advice Mum gives on today's yeah. show, is purely for entertainment purposes only. If anybody comments on your comments with gift, competition, giveaway, it's a scam, don't fall for it. Hi Damien, how are you sweetheart? How are you all over there? Hello Janine Newton in the Wirral. And Maria Kissick says, thanks for the shout out. I'm watching from the Philippines. Oh, I love that. Hi, hi, Damien Hiscock. Are you okay? Okie dokie. I'm even getting stars sent. Thank you. Thank you so very much. However, I don't yeah. do these live four stars. But should you wish to send them, they're much appreciated. Especially in times like this. People well, are struggling, aren't they? Exactly, yeah. You know, we're worried about gas, electric, yeah. prices of yeah. um, fuel. Yeah. Yeah. You know, whether it's petrol or diesel, everything's a real concern at the moment. Oh, teacher. So, we yeah. Need, we need it. Everybody needs a bit of cheering up. Yes, them, we do. Them, right? yeah. yeah, we do. So, we're coming to bring you a little bit of light relief humour. Yeah. So, without further ado, shall we get on with the very first Dear Auntie Nelly of the day? Yeah. Let's go. Are you ready, Mum? Yeah. You were born ready, weren't you? Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Okay. Oh, JD Robinson wants a shout out from you. Oh, JD Robinson. Oh, hello, JD Robinson. I hope you have a lovely afternoon. There you go. Dear Auntie Nelly, my boyfriend and I have had a massive argument because I put a picture of us both on Facebook. Oh, I don't understand why he got so upset. I know he's not cheating on me, but I don't understand why he was so mad. I know he never really puts pictures of us up on Facebook. He just likes to put pictures up of cars. Wow. This makes me feel less special because I like to show off that he's my boyfriend, but he doesn't. How can I get him to make me stop deleting pics? Thanks. So she wants to display her love life on Facebook. On Facebook. She wants them? people to know that she's got a boyfriend. Yeah. Uh, oh, Beverly Knight's watching. Hi, Hi Beth. Beth. Um, you. Yeah, so she wants to be like, this is a pic of us, you know, like, this is yeah. me, my boyfriend. Yeah. And he's like, get that fucking picture off and he's fallen out with her. What do you think might be happening there? 
Because she oh. says it's definitely not cheating. Well, no, it probably is one of these that he doesn't like to be on Facebook. He just likes to do what he wants to do, put his cards on, and that's it. He wants to leave his personal life personal to him, just to himself and his girlfriend. Now, that's what I completely agree with because but. just because you see pictures on Facebook of like couples or family days out or yeah. me and mum, it yeah. doesn't mean to say that they've got a better relationship no. than the people you don't see on Facebook. No. I can understand. So little Harley saying no. Oh, hi Harley. Hello Harley. We hi, love you. I love you, Harley. So it doesn't mean to say that he is hiding something, but I certainly would be a little bit suspicious if he if he is such a private person. This is what I'm going to play devil's advocate now. So if he is such a private person and doesn't like anything on Facebook or anything on social media, why the fuck's he got an account then? Why don't he just have pictures of cars in his phone? Well, he just likes to show a picture of himself on Facebook. Uh, cars in here, uh, his car. Yeah, so I'm just saying, listen. Oh, he's waving at you, Harley. I am I'm just saying. Love you. If you're that private and you don't want to be on social media, why have you got a fucking account? I put the ball back in his court and say, you've got a girlfriend together. Unless you're fucking cheating on me, what's the problem? What is the problem? I come in proper like a sledgehammer here because it's not yeah, fair, is well, it? She well, feels yeah, that that's well. something important and it's about compromise. Yeah, it's not that. It's not a really, really big issue. The last Nobody will turn are... into a big issue. Well, yeah, all you have to do is just sit down and talk about it. Yeah, because life is yeah. lived, really. Don't, don't just go jumping in with two feet and start screaming and shouting because that's no good. Sit down and talk and discuss the matter. Tell him I'm not upset you. Yeah, just tell him and say, look, why does it upset you? Me putting pictures of us on Facebook. Are you hiding something? Are you shouting yeah. someone else? Yeah. Have you got a secret family elsewhere? No, no, no don't say that. Just oh, say, don't say that. I, no, just say, let, tell me why. Tell me why. Why it upsets you so much? You know? And then see what it says first. See what his reaction is. And then you'll know when you ask him questions whether he's telling you the truth or not. That's my advice. So mum's not a sledgehammer approach. Mum's more like very, calm. very adult like, very calm. Let's sit no. down, let's talk about it. Yeah. I'm more like, Boy. well, if you don't want nothing on fucking social media, what the fuck have you got a social media account then? Hey? Delete it. Yeah, well, they have to talk about it between them why he doesn't want his baby. They, they have to sort it. You've got to sort it out with him. Yeah. Nobody can help you unless you have it out with him. We have a nice talk and you'll be able to find out the truth. Yeah. But then again, there's men out there never tell the truth. Yeah. So be aware. Okay. Carol's watching. Vicky Coleman's mum. My Vicky's mum. Carol's oh, watching. Oh, yeah. Okay. Dear Auntie Nelly, I have been best friends with the girls since birth. Oh. We are now both 24. The thing is, her personal hygiene is terrible and has always been a big problem, but it has become so much worse. She's not showered in over a month, and I'm not exaggerating. She does not brush her teeth, she wears the same clothes, and it kills me to say it, but she smells really bad. I do not know how to tell her. I don't know if I tell her she might stop talking to me and then I can't see her and I would really miss her because she's like a sister to me. Please help. What can I do? Well, how personal is that? Well, it is personal. Yeah. What the fuck's going on with this phone? It, it is very personal, love. Uh, They've been friends since what? birth. Yeah. And then the 24 now, yeah. and yeah. she's got a really bad yeah. Yeah. personal because, hygiene yeah. problem. I have a friend that I've been friends with for 30 odd years. And the thing is this, like you said, you, you've been friends since birth. Yeah. And she's like a sister to you. Yeah. So if she's like a sister to you, then you should feel that you should be able to tell her anything. Yeah. And she shouldn't be offended by it. You should say, if it were my friend, it were my friend Irene, I'd say, Irene, what's up with you? And she said, why what do you mean? I said, because you stink. <laughs> I said, what's, go what's going wrong? Get in that shower and get yourself cleaned. 
Oh, so you've, got, so you've got so you have got a bit of a sledgehammer yeah. approach when yes. you need to have yeah. one, Joanne. When you need to have them, say because I'm not having it. This is not you. So what's gone wrong? What's going on in your life? Right. Yeah. This is what you need to do and find out why she's not washing, why she's set uh, making herself look the way she is. Yeah. But if you're such a good friend. And she's like a sister to you, like you said, don't be afraid to approach her. Maybe she will appreciate it. You telling her better coming from you as her best friend than coming from somebody else. <laughs> right, well, this is where I wouldn't have the sledgehammer approach. This is where I would be very, very slow on this one in the case of I'd be really concerned if somebody's personal hygiene and the way they're presenting themselves isn't what society deems um, as correct. And certainly, when we start slipping with looking after ourselves, massive red flag for me here is, are they struggling mentally? Are they depressed? Has the anxiety took that much hold over them that they can't actually function? These are basic needs as a human being. Washing our hair, washing our bodies, brushing our teeth, wearing fresh clothes. These are basic needs we need as a human, such as water and food. So my, my preference to this would be, hiya, friend, sister, <coughs> I am really worried about you. Can I tell you why? Oh, why is that? Well, there's things going on lately that I'm looking at and, it, you know, I'm really concerned I'm worried about your mental health. I'm worried about your physical health. Why is that? And then you go in with, I know you've been wearing the same clothes. Is it the fact that you've no money to change your clothes or you can't put gas and electric on? We, we had this conversation. Yeah. Can you not wash your clothes? Is your shower broke? Is there something going on at home that you're not able to have access to free running water? If so, come to mind. What's going on? What's changed? How are you feeling? You know, you're neglecting yourself. And because you're neglecting yourself, I can't neglect the fact that I can see that. And I'm your best friend, like a sister. And I want to help you get better. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would do. Yeah. So you'd go in with sledgehammer. I know. I'd be I know, thinking, yeah. because... what the fuck's happening here? There's a problem with the yeah. mental health, I feel. And the last thing I need to do is to go in and make it a hundred times worse to make that yeah, person yeah, feel I know, something. I know, yeah, I know, where yeah. I know where you're coming from. They yeah. could be. But, you know, so... Yeah. She's just going to have to tell her. I think a mix of both of what we both, both. said. Yeah, you were just going to have to tell her. And just Rather than tell her, her, I would ask her. Well, ask her, And I yeah. wouldn't even say you yeah. stink. You know, the fact that you're saying, I've noticed that you've got the same clothes all the time. I've noticed that yeah. you're probably not showered yeah. and you're not brushing your teeth. I don't think you actually have to say but, you stink because I think that, that's yeah, enough to explain be, yeah. that. But if, the so, if she's so close, so close as a friend, she should be able to tell whether yeah. her friend, friend's depressed or not. And whether she... Well, you know, some people are really good at masking well, it. Well, that's true, yes. So, yeah, that's true. Good luck with that. Good luck with that, love. Good luck with that. Seriously. Poor girl, hopefully she gets the help she needs because yeah. to me... It sounds a little bit like yeah. she's neglecting herself because the mental health is not well, where it should be. It could be the mental health, or it could be, could just, be something just, else. Something else. Yeah. Dear Auntie Nelly, I wonder if I can ask for your advice. I am a 25 year old man and I am gay. I met a man on Tinder. You like Tinder, don't you, Mum? I've never been on it. You like it though, don't you? Bye, what do you do on Tinder? Tell me. I don't know. I've heard of it. You go on that and then you meet people uh, to want a date or something. So it's a dating site. Wait, dating site, I don't want that. You don't want that? No way. Do you not want to go on Tinder more? No way, heck. What do you want to go on? I'm nothing. Nothing? I'm nothing at are all. Are you happy as you are? I'm happy as I am. Okay. Joanne will not be on any dating apps no, I won't. within the near future. No. <laughs> so this fella's 25, he's gay, he's met a fella on Tinder, he lives in the same town as him. Um, this fella's not been in any kind of relationship at all. Uh, he met up with him, they got on really well, they slept together three times. Mm. I don't know if like three dates or three times on the same night, I don't know. But then I was crazy about him, so he fell in love after, he caught, he caught feelings, didn't he? Better catching feelings than chlamydia, Joanne, isn't it? Yeah. So, then this guy had to go working away. 
and they did arrange to meet up when he was back but when they did meet up this guy said he wasn't looking for anything serious no just, just these one night stands what they have yeah no he's not had a one night stand because he's slept in a three night stand oh whatever it is yeah whatever it is it was just about sex yeah so this fella now is really, really upset because he wanted more oh. and he doesn't know how to get over it. Oh, don't be upset, love. You'll get over it. You, I'm sure you'll meet somebody else that will want you for what you are. Do you know, while you sat there thinking about a certain someone, do you know that you're actually cock-blocking yourself? Do you know that while you're sat here crying and getting upset and worked up about not the right pe- Oh, Joseph's son from Albuquerque. Oh, no, Joseph no. Jaramillo. He's so, getting married. Oh. He is right. a widow. Yeah. He watches my um, lives and he was single at the time. He was saying he wanted to find a lady oh. who would take on his children and oh, not like as a, as a mum to replace mum, but oh. to accept him as it. And he's actually oh. getting married. Oh, well, congratulations. Yay, congratulations. Joseph. We love you so much and we wish you the best. Yeah. All right, best. so... Whilst you're sat there thinking about somebody else, putting somebody else on that pedestal, putting all your energy into someone, who is this person? Have we got a troll on? Oh. Right, Sadaqua Abbas. Hang on. Let me block this person. Sadaqua Abbas, off your foot flower. Don't swear. Uh, why did not swear? Oh, I can't swear, can I? Because they're moderating me. Right, but we had a troll on then, so they've gone now. Right, so, um, or a scammer, they could have been fucking anything. While you're doing that, you are not keeping the door open for fresh opportunity. So let it go, let it out. It wasn't for you, because should it have been for you, he'd have, to, he'd have the exact same feelings for you. Unrequited love is shit. Joseph's been married for a month now. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations. All yeah, the best. Time. Yeah, all the best yeah, all to you. Lovely wife. So, yeah, while you're thinking about someone else and putting them on that big pedestal and making them so important, they're not even giving two shits about you. You're stopping the front door from being open to new love. You're not attracting new energy. What do you think? Correct. 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 Keep... Shut one door shuts and another one opens. Yeah, it? but shut so that door that so you door, can open the other one. Yeah, so just shut it, forget yeah. about it. We all make mistakes, yeah. nobody's perfect. No. Nobody's perfect. And put it <clears> in, <throat> in your brain, start thinking. Just think it's like right. it's his loss, not yours. You've had a good time, it's like being three it. times. Yeah, you can't yeah. feel it, but that only means you're human. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's not like you're married and you've got no, kids. You can't go. get over this. Of course you can. Let it go. Let it go. It's not worth it. Dear Antonelli, I have been married. No. Right. I have been with my partner for 14 years and we are not married, but we have three children together. Oh, okay. Nice. He wants another baby, oh. but I really do not. I have had three horrific pregnancies and labours and the thought of doing it all again terrifies me. I have tried to explain this to my partner but he will not consider my physical needs over his own. He really has a desire to have another child and I really can't face it. What do I do? <gasps> oh, So she's had three babies, they've got yeah. three babies, they've yeah. got three more than some. Yeah. She's had terrible pregnancies, terrible labours and deliveries, and he's still pushing for a new baby, and she's thinking, fuck that shit. He's being but he's selfish. not asked. He's being selfish. He is being selfish. Being selfish. If he's being selfish, he just, uh, he just tell him, love, say, if you love me and you care about me and about my health, we've got three beautiful children, and that is enough for me, and that should be enough for you. Let's enjoy what we've got. Do you know what I feel though? Do you know what I feel when people are absolutely um, craving that extra child or trying to make the partner do something that they're not quite sure or whatever? Mm. What about fostering? What about all these babies that need adopted that don't have a loving home? If you really think, well, I want another child maybe, but I can't go through the pregnancy or the labour is what you're telling me. 
Have you thought about adoption? There's so many people yeah, out there that need help. That need help. So many children that yeah. you could grow your family. You yeah. don't have to then. Linda Doherty, happy birthday, yeah. darling. Happy birthday. You know, they've got three more than most. Some people out there can't yeah. have babies. And then there's people out there who crave the desire of being pregnant, yeah. giving birth. Some ladies I know who've had cesareans feel uh, robbed because they didn't go through labour. But I think we've not got our priorities right in society. There are so many babies that need our help. You could adopt a child, you could foster a child. If your home is still um, a home where you can afford to have more children, look at fostering and adoption if it was the pregnancy and the labour that's put you off the life. I'd give that him as an I option. I don't, I don't, yeah, give him that option. But I, I don't blame you, love. But what you have to say to him is say, Luke, it's me. It's carrying my, it. Carrying it. It's my body. Yeah. It's my body. And I don't feel I can go through all that again. Yeah. And this is what I've decided. Three is enough. So it's up to you. It's up to you now. We can go down other options. Yeah. And do this and what have you. And if you don't want to do that, Let's enjoy the three children that we've got. Yeah. Because I don't think I'm fit enough to go through all that again. Yeah. And if he loves you and he cares about you, then he will understand you. Yeah. 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 Because men say, oh, yeah, it's all right, you know, but it's not them that's giving birth. It's not them that's carrying it for nine months. Yeah. So, you know, they haven't got much clue, really. No, we haven't after. No, 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 no when they uh, are uh, giving birth and that. Right. Hello, Auntie Nelly. Hello, anonymous flower pot. My mum and sister both died within weeks oh. of each other. Oh. After a particularly tough day at my sister's funeral, I asked my boyfriend to stay over and have dinner with me. No, no, she didn't. Yeah, I know she did, yeah, as I was feeling so upset. He said he couldn't, as he'd already agreed to go out for dinner with his parents and his brother. Mm. To my shock, he actually went with them instead, leaving me home alone. Is there any point in continuing a relationship with someone who can't be there for me when I need them most? Thanks. No, 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 get shocked. I mean, not only has she lost a sister, she's lost a mother. Yeah. So, so it'll yeah. bring up all the old feelings yeah. and whatever. Like and they died in such a short space of time, so yeah. she's still grieving. Yeah. And I don't think she's asked for anything, really. She's asked a partner to be there for her. Yeah. Do you know what really fucks me off about this, actually? She shouldn't have to ask. It should come automatically. And just aim for being there for you, moral support, and just to hold you and cuddle you and make you feel better and letting you know no matter what you should know how you were feeling and he'd always be there for you. you should, she shouldn't have to say you please have, no, will you no, still. No no, no 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 he's not done that love he's, he's not. fucked off out his family for me. Oh well leave him with his family. He's not even asked her to go. Well leave him with his family then. So is there any point continuing in this relationship? No. Absolutely not. No. There's no. the door. Fuck off for a way. No. If you have to ask your partner for attention or you have to tell them how to show support and love. I could understand that not even a friend would do that. I could understand that if it was just a casual friend and he'd made arrangement that, you know, it was an important arrangement he had to go, fair enough. But not when he's your partner and you can't give her that support when you needed it, he needed him the most. Nah, tell him to go away. Tell him to start with his family. Even like saying, look, I'm supposed to be going out with family tonight. Do you want to come? It might, you might enjoy it, might cheer you up. Or, yeah. No, don't you, do, you don't have to ask no, me. Of course, need, I'm going yeah. to be here you for need you. You someone who values you, love, who work, you know, you don't need that. Yeah, the fact is, it's a massive red flag now. If he's not here for you, yeah. when I think the worst thing in life could be losing oh, your mother, your mum, and then your and sister, your sister. Yeah. and he can't be here for you now. He's never going to be fucking yeah, there for you. No, just leave him. So fuck him off. Let him uh, have fun with his family. Yeah. Right. 
I might start talking about things you don't understand now, Mum, and neither do I. It's an age thing, but let's try. Oh, an age thing. Dear Antonelli, me and my partner of three years are on the verge of breaking up over his Xbox. That is that a game? Yeah, thing? game, yeah. Right, yeah, like yeah. a PlayStation. He's more in love with, he, with his Xbox than what it is with his. Uh, yeah. yeah, he plays online games with friends all the time. Yeah. They've got a WhatsApp group. He's on it all the time. Constantly looking at his phone. Doesn't have any conversation with me. No time for me. It's like I'm living on my own in a house. And we do have a child together. Uh, so I don't want to break the family up, but I cannot stand feeling lonely in a relationship anymore. What do I do? Just tell him, get your Xbox, get your mobile, pack your case, you can still see your child, but pack your case, go and get yourself somewhere to live, where you can be on your Xbox all day long, so I don't have to see you. The ball's 25, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah. So I don't have to see you, and then you can do whatever you want, because this ain't working. No. Because you shouldn't be here for, for that, you should be here with me as your partner and your child. And you're not doing any of this, so... You might as well be on your own. Yeah, you might as well be on your own, sweetheart. And uh, just tell him to go and play it on his Xbox and everything else what he does on that phone, uh, on his own. Yeah. And you, you never know what's in store in the future for you, so let it go. Well, I mean, as well, if the child is being yeah. ignored by dad Neglected. because Neglected. he's got, yeah, he's on Xbox or he's addicted yeah. to Xbox, yeah. whatever yeah. it may be. Yeah. Because they can get addicted to these games, can't yeah, they? Yeah, just sit him down, talk to him and tell him how you feel. Tell him how you feel and if he doesn't understand it, Off he, goes. he thinks that's more to him than what you are yeah. and his child, yeah. then say, look, this is not for me. I know we have a child together, but you can still be a dad from afar. You can still see your daughter. If you can break your time off the Xbox, <laughs> you know, and be a dad for yeah. once. Fair enough. And if you get, if he doesn't mark it, love, uh, then it's not for you. Yeah. It's not for you. And nothing's really going to change in your life, sweetheart, no. asking no. him to leave because you're, you're doing, doing everything on your own anyway. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? You're right, aren't you? Yeah, of course you are. So yeah. don't be, yeah. don't, I know what you're saying. You don't want him to leave the family yeah. home and break up the family, but... Yeah. That's not a family. That's and right. What are you teaching your child? Yeah. You're teaching your child how not to parent. Tell him to stand up and be a man. Yeah. Be a dad. Yeah. That's where you need to. Yeah. That's where you to him. If you can't be a dad to your daughter and you can't be a stand up and be I a don't man, know if it's a daughter, just said a child. Well, a child. Yeah. You can't. You, you can't be a dad to your child. Yeah. Then go and play on your Xbox on your own. Go and play on your own flower. Yeah. So it sounds like you've been doing a lot on your own anyway. Yeah. Dear Antonelli, I have been having a relationship with a man. It has been lots of fun, but he is already in a relationship. Oh. Oh, oh here we go. We've got a few cheaters here. Lately, though, he's been confusing me with emotions. He tells me he really likes me, and I think he may have some hidden feelings for me, such as love. His relationship with his girlfriend is not great and they argue a lot. Hmm, of course it is. Hmm, yeah. Well, he's not going to fucking tell you it's brilliant, is it? Oh, I have strong feelings for him, but I do not want to let on in case I am reading him wrong. What do I do? Yeah. Why Should I tell him he loves, I, I love him, then he can actually tell me he loves me? No, no. You should have broke up the relationship. The minute. Uh, the minute. You then, find then, out. Then he's not. At, no, yeah. The he, minute he you should, find out he was in another yeah, relationship. He, yeah, if he he's not happy in the relationship that he's gone, then he should have broke it off and then started a new relationship. He can't be doing both. He's telling he's her like, yeah, what he, she needs to hear yeah, in yeah. order for him to keep his side dish. Nah, don't he's do got that. the main course yeah, at yeah, home. Yeah. And of course he's going to say, oh, we're not getting on. We're always yeah, calling yeah, out. Yeah, he wants, uh, what is it? He wants his cup of tea and the cake and eat it as well. Pull these oh, bells. No. Yeah. Pull yeah, these no. bells. No, just to um, tell him to sort his life out. Say, at the minute, I think your life's a bit complicated. Well, more than complicated. Say, so sort it out, and then we'll talk about it. Right, well, I wouldn't say that. Don't let any feelings out. Don't show him any. Don't no, tell I wouldn't. Him that, don't tell him that you love him. Don't show him nothing at all. At all. Don't even go and meet him again. Just tell him you're busy. I'd say, look, I'm really sorry that you're falling out with your partner. However, 
this isn't working for me. Yeah. You're not meeting my emotional needs. So I'm off. Yeah. ta -ra. Bye. Because if he's cheating on her... He'll be cheating on you as well. Then you're going to be the fucking main dish and he's going to get a side dish. It sounds to me like he likes always having something else in the background. Yeah. Well, off he fucks and does that. Yeah. But what you've got to do is, when you do fucking get rid... Have a look at yourself. Don't jump into another relationship. No. What is it about you that has allowed you to be a side dish? You need to be the main fucking course, sweetheart. Like what is it about your confidence and your self-esteem that you're allowing that to happen to you? He's fucking playing. get rid and work on yourself. He's you playing. are worth so much more. He's playing both women. Of course he is. He's playing both women. Get of course short. he is. Get short. You're better than that. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh... Dear Auntie Nelly, I have been having an affair with a much older man with kids. I love my boyfriend, but I cannot stop thinking about my older lover. He is incredible. I cannot imagine life without him. My lover has said he will leave his wife and kids for me and is wanting to marry me. I don't know what to do because I feel like I'm stuck in a love triangle and I don't want to hurt anybody. What are you doing? Fucking hell, fire. But You're yeah. not hurting anybody. What about his poor wife and his kids? his kids? What about your partner and your kids? And your children, because you are. By being so selfish, the pair of you, everything always comes out in the wash, doesn't it, Mum? Yeah. You can't help who you fall in love with, I get that. But when you find out that people are already wifed off, they're married, they're engaged, you've got a long term partner, then you don't look at them like that because they're not your property to have, they're not yours. Yeah. Go and get your own. Yeah. You don't want to hurt. I don't want to hurt anybody. Oh, what is fucking me? It doesn't wash for your auntie Nelly. You're a cheating little cunt. You both need to leave your partners and fuck off on your own until one of you cheats again. Or you need to come clean and sort out your own grass. Because yeah. why are you looking over next door's fence? Believe me, baby, it's only astroturf. You are, you think that the grass is green at the other side, but believe you me, it won't be. No. Won't I don't want to hurt anybody. Yeah, think about your children. Think about your Fuck children. Fuck off. Not interested. Moving on. Stop poking me, mum. I've already got restrictions. If they want to restrict me again, their fucking problem, not mine. Uh -huh. Stop poking me. <laughs> this is a good one. This is a good one, ready? I just get really passionate about cheats. I just don't well, wash for me. Well, leave them to it. If that's what they want to cheat and cheat. <sighs> you can only advise. Dear Auntie Nelly, do you think it is okay that my husband is giving his daughters large sums of money without even mentioning it to me first? We are talking about thousands he then expects me to pay half of the rent and bills despite the fact that he earns far more than me and I have two children to support. It is unfair, but what can I do? Right, I'm going to the lift to go. Well, these, the, 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 these daughters... He then care. expects me to pay half of the rent. Yeah, so they live together. So, she has a husband and he keeps giving a lot of money to his kids. Yeah, but his, his, his daughter is larger and he's, he's giving it to his daughter. His daughter. And they're from a previous marriage. Yeah, yeah, they're not her kids. Yeah, right, they're not her children. Well, yeah. he, should, he should be able to do what he wants for his mother. As long as he's paid yeah, half it? the bills and, and half the rent. Yeah, yeah. So what she's saying is, though, she doesn't earn as much money as him and she's got two kids to support and also has to pay half the rent, half the bills. Well, she has to turn around to him and say, Luke... Say, I don't mind you giving your money to your daughters. They are, it's your money, they are daughter, but make sure that the bills are paid and everything else. Well, I think they, they are, are. No, but she's saying they are. Yeah. No, but yeah. She's, she's begrudging him giving a large amount of money to his daughters because well, she's yeah. struggling. Yeah, well, she might be struggling, but sometimes jealousy gets in it. Uh, like, Do you, you think know, he, she thinks he should be putting more into her? Well, yeah, she probably thinks... Or if he can afford to give large sums of money away, maybe, maybe she, she thinks she shouldn't have to pay the rent. Uh, yeah, and or maybe she'd be thinking some of that money should be mine. You don't know. It's a, it's a tricky situation. If he's um, paid his bills and paid off the rent, the whatever rent. he decides to do with the surplus the amount of cash is up to him. It's up to him because it's his money. And there are his kids. Yeah. And they, yeah, they, yeah, they, they're his children. As long as you don't go short, as long as you understand that you don't earn as much as him. Yeah, no, I think maybe she should have that conversation yeah. and say, 
I don't begrudge you giving money to your girls or whatever oh, it is, have, but yeah. I'm really struggling this month. Can you help me out? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Just just uh, have a talk and see what comes out of it. I think if, if it is such an issue, then I don't think you should live together. I think you should live on your own. And I think maybe you should pay your own rent and your own bills. Then you might get a little bit more support with being a single parent. So you might be better off like living on your own. I'm not saying split up, but if you're paying your rent and he's paying the rent and you're paying the bills and he's paying the bills it's and you've not got as much left at the end of the month, yeah. that's not his fucking problem. But morally, he should kind of understand that and say, well, I'll do the food shop and that because you don't earn as much yeah, as me. Yeah, and then also it depends how long they've been living together. Exactly. You know. Yeah. So if you've been living together for a long time, you should be able to solve the issue. Yeah. Uh, and be right about it because you're both parents. Yeah. But if <coughs> you've not been living together for a long while, you cannot go into so many questions because you could turn around and say, well, it's none of your business what I do with my money. I don't think it matters how long you've right. been living together. Yeah. Those are his kids and what he chooses to do with his kids. It's what all to do with her. Yeah, it's like to do with anybody. You know, um, if he's not paying the bills and not paying the rent and not tipping up his wage and putting food on the table, go and live elsewhere, mate. Yeah, go and live elsewhere. But if he's got money in his back pocket and he decides to give that to his kids. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, that's what I would do. Yeah? Yeah. Dear Auntie Nelly, I have just ended my engagement. I just did not love him enough. He has blocked me on everything and he said he never ever wants to see me again. But I do not know if I should go to his house and give back the engagement ring he gave me because we aren't together anymore. Is that what, what, what you would do? I do not know, but I know you will. Thanks, Nell. You're laughing because you know how many engagement rings I've got upstairs, don't you? Uh, no, love. I've never given one back, have I? No, keep, keep the engagement. They're a gift, though. aren't they? They're a gift. He's given it, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't work. You've been honest with him. You, can, you didn't love him enough. We all made mistakes. Maybe at the time you thought you did. Yeah. And now you've been honest. Yeah. It's, you know. Um, so put it in a drawer and just leave it there. And uh, and don't, you know, you can't blame the lad like that he's bought you from here and there. Yeah, he's upset, he's upset. Yeah. But he'll get over it, yeah. he'll get over it. And you go into the house, you're going to make it worse. Yeah. With the engagement ring, so just put it in a drawer. Forget and, about it. Yeah, at least you've been honest. If there's no contact with him, I'm going to say six months, and he's not asked for it back, and you've not felt that you're in a position to give it back, why don't you auction it and give that money to charity? Yeah, just leave it. But I've always believed that an engagement ring is a gift. Yeah. Because I've got lots of gifts. Yeah. I'm to mum. Yeah. I've got lots of... Uh, it's funny that she thought you'll know what to do. Well, I don't actually. I just keep them. I just keep them. I'm, I'm wondering if Vera Wang actually wants to meet up one night and get some of her very vintage old collection back. <laughs> Not palm them or anything like that, uh, but I think yeah. if you feel that it's not yours and it should go back to him, find a way maybe by um, getting hold of one of his friends or a family member and saying, look, I don't feel comfortable keeping this, would you pass that on? Or if you can't get rid of it at all, you know, and you want to sell it, pawn it, auction it, then give that money to charity if you feel yeah. respectfully it's not yours. Yeah. But well, at least you've been honest. The way I see it, it's the gift. Yeah. I keep all my gifts. And we know you do. <laughs> <laughs> Last one. Let's go. Have you noticed that I don't like um, dear Auntie Nelly's when it's too cheating? You yeah. notice they get me really passionate. Yeah, I know. It's not nice, is it? It's not nice when people are cheated on, is it? It's not nice when people are going out with somebody and they think that everything's all right and then they're like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Really does cause a bit of passion in me, a bit of stirring. So if you are watching Dear Antonelli and you're thinking of writing in Dear Antonelli cheating, then I think you'll know what the response is going to be. Helena's just jumped on. Hello, Hi, Helena. Good Helena. afternoon. Have a lovely Sunday, love. Yeah. Dear Antonelli, hi. Hi. I met a guy online three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. We have been dating and getting on very well. It got serious really quick. And he asked me if we could be exclusive. Oh. Ooh! I said, yes. And then we slept together. 
That weekend we were going to be going out and he said he had booked a romantic meal and nice away for us both. I had my nails done, my hair done, my tan done and even packed an overnight bag. Like you. Yeah. I waited for him as planned but he just never showed up. Oh. I tried ringing him and that's when I realised I was blocked. Yeah. He was so full on that I thought this was it and he really liked me and now nothing. What should I do? Nothing, love. You've been stood up. I'm sure. Yeah, he just used you. He's told you yeah. everything. He's gaslighted you. He's love yeah. bombed you right, right at the beginning to get what he wanted. The minute that you gave it up and slept with him, he's gone. Yeah. Move on. on. Thank you, yeah. next. Thank you, next. Yeah. But the fact that he said, I'm taking you away this weekend, be ready. That's awful. And thing, she's going to have her done and nails yeah, done that's and tanned That's a nasty thing to do, but... Stood there in your overnight bag like yeah. fucking pants yeah. and bear. He got his cake and ate it, and now... I hope he gets you know, um, indigestion. Indigestion, yeah, exactly. So, some men are just not worth thinking about it. We all make mistakes. Do you know what? We live and learn, don't we? Yeah, and I think. Learn. I feel sorry for you. Yeah. Because you, you know, you thought this is it, and you were, you know, you not just that you spend money uh, doing whatever you did, looking forward to a lovely weekend away, yeah. and um, and then you were uh, disappointed and never showed up. No. But look at it this way, love. He's lost, not yours. You shouldn't so, really know him either, I'd, I'd exactly say, like get to so know him a bit more. Nice, he, he's not a nice person to get to know. No, him, he's yeah. not. What he's he trying to know shit for? Exactly. He showed, he showed what sort of a person he is. And uh, I believe in karma. I don't yes. believe it, love. What goes round comes round. Right. One day, he'll, have his, he'll meet his match. Oh, yeah. And you'd love to be there to see it, but you probably yeah. won't be. But yeah, you've got to trust in karma. Yeah, karma. Yeah. Believe in karma, love. Yeah. You, I mean, we have three weeks though. Yeah, yeah. Three you know, weeks. Yeah, but sometimes people, you know. I still have asked them the star sign yeah, in people three say, weeks. People say love at first sight, things like that. Yeah. And if you've been on your own for a while and you've been, met somebody. It's like fighting, isn't it? Yeah, and he's made you feel good and all this and that. And then, yeah, why not? Why not? But he's just showed he's not worth it. No. He's not worth it. So, Do you know what? No. You got yourself a bit carried away. Get you're not the get. first, you're not the last. Oh, get out with girls. Have fun, hey. with, have fun with the girls. Yeah. Have fun with the girls. <coughs> if you meet somebody, you meet them. But if you do, very careful. Have be you ever been be, stood up, Mum? were. No. No. No, I don't, I don't think so. I think she's had a lucky escape. But, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but when I was young, in them days, we're different. What do you mean it was different? Well, it was different. You didn't go on these line dates and what have you. Did you, you didn't know? Meet, no, did you? Where did you meet people, Mum, at like discos? Well, well, me and your dad met on holiday. Oh. Yeah, you, know, you know, when I used to go on holiday with my grandma in Italy. Yeah, so you oh, met my then, dad yeah, in Italy on holiday. Yeah. Were you wearing a bikini? Huh? What were you wearing? I were wearing a bikini, yeah. Why? Because I'm on beach. So, did you have a bikini on? Yeah. You sexy little thing. Little blonde on bikini, no wonder my dad fell in love with you. Yeah, I had red hair then. You I had red hair then? Red hair then, yeah. You used to paint it, didn't you? Yeah, I used to colour it. You were like a young Sophia Loren. No, no, I wish. Well, no, you weren't. You were a bit more like Gina Lola Bridgeton. Do you think so? Yeah, I think oh, so, yeah. 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 Well, whatever. Well, you're like Julie Walters now, aren't you? Well, so people say. Yeah, you're like Julie <laughs> Walters, and I'm like a cross between. Super Nanny and Miss Trunchbull. Oh, Antonella. You What's wrong with her? They're very attractive yeah, ladies. I know they are, aren't they? Very attractive. Yeah. I mean, I know what you're going to say. Give over. You like Jennifer Lopez. But, you know, that's only if you've got cataracts and glaucoma. I hope you have enjoyed today's Sunday yeah. service. We I certainly hope so. have. We've enjoyed and it. And we can't wait to be back again with yeah. you soon. Should you have any dear Antonellas, unless they're cheating, feel free to write into the page. That's where Nighttime in Ellis and Sunday services are. Any advice we have given on today's show has been purely for entertainment purposes. Yeah. Anybody comments on your comments with gift, giveaway, prize, etc. It's a scam, don't fall for it. And don't be writing in about your cheating problems because I ain't fucking interested. Whatever you do with your day, enjoy. Good morning, enjoy. good afternoon, good evening. Love you all and see you all very, Bye. very soon. Enjoy your Sunday. Enjoy.